layout tube here in this video i will explain uh, why i believe that this is the best way to build your sim rig and i will show you how i did it uh, i will start with some advantages then i will talk a little bit about some mistakes that i made that if you decide to make something like this you don't need to repeat them uh, on the end of this video i will show you the whole effect sensors and the load cell that i installed in the pedals that i found on junkyard the first and most important advantage to my opinion is that there is uh, literally zero wiggling and shaking of the wheelbase and if you look at some other even more professional sim rigs they are always having uh, a little movement and you can look some videos in the description where I'm driving this one and you can see that uh, everything is rock solid. You can also choose any angle you can imagine by this system just by loosing this screw on this side and one is on the other side. It, this system has three mechanical uh, contacts, one right there, one right there and one in the middle. Only the middle one has screw and you can tilt it as much as you want and uh, if that is not enough you can completely choose another hole. The same thing is with the uh, pedals, there is only one bolt on one side and one on the other. Uh, you can lose them and change the angle of the pedals or if needed you can completely choose another hole and uh, this is uh, a little uh, bented like, like that. Uh, because uh, the middle screw is very tight and it keeps all things together. The same system was planned to be used for monitor, but accidentally I did the wrong drawing and uh, instead of here uh, I drove the holes right there so they are now pretty much useless. Except here uh, I'm uh, keeping uh, my power supply for the steering wheel with the zip ties. I also did uh, a little gap here and that gap allows me to leave the monitor a bit lower than the steering wheel and that also creates a bit more natural feeling while driving. I took the seating position from GT car, something in between GT car and sports car because I believe that it is the most comfortable position for long driving. This seat is from Chevrolet Cavalier 1990 and uh, it has all uh, adjusting functions that, is, that it usually has and when some of my friends want to try this sim rig they always can uh, adjust the seating position as they want. Next advantage will be that uh, it is very easy to step in and step out from both sides the biggest mistake I made is that I really don't need middle foot because uh, having two on the front and uh, two on the back is pretty much enough and this is why I'm, I'm leaving this uh, piece of wood in the back because if I uh, leave it laying on all six points it starts to twist uh, diagonally. I will probably in near future Cut this right there, make two new holes and uh, screw it on the back side and remove that piece of wood. Here it is, uh, hole effect sensor and the two neodymium magnets. It is very easy to find position for them. Hole effect sensor is just glued with a hot glue and it works pretty well. They are very long lasting in comparison with uh, potentiometer because they don't have mechanical wear. Since these pedals are from a real car, they have a brake booster in their factory form, but I needed to remove it and uh, put a master cylinder di directly on the pedals and I needed to make uh, a little rod that connects brake pedal with a master cylinder and this is how it looks like. Uh, I made a little mistake because I made uh, this rod too short and uh, it has too much aggressive attack angle on the piston and the piston slowly wears out but I will probably fix it in the future. This brake pedal has very natural feeling while driving. It is pretty much like in a real car. I'm using two load cells 
and they are positioned inside of several plates and I will show you how does it looks like inside and this is the brake pad that presses the load cells this is the housing for load cells that is being pressed by uh, brake pad uh, on this example I have only one but uh, in this model there there are two one load cell can handle around 30 kilos so I decided to put two of them just to make sure that they can handle such a large forces that you can expect from hydraulic system this is where I located the electronics that are amplifying the signals and uh, these things are doing the USB communication with a computer this was done by my friend and if you are interested to that uh, write down below in the comments I will be able to help you about that probably the biggest disadvantage of this sim rig is because it is very heavy and I can decrease its weight by doing some cutoff similar like this one right there doing them on the base panel and it will de decrease its weight but I couldn't do it earlier because I didn't know which surface I will need and which I will not next uh, little upgrade will probably be trimming off these uh, failed handles and uh, putting here some soft rubber this sim rig is still not painted but after painting it in black it will look even better feel free to ask everything you are interested for and see you on the racetrack Thirty, three right long tightens into sudden turn two left.